big news that happened this week. Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition is coming to the PC. The worst and- kept secret in gaming. <laughs> I mean, it was inevitable. They e- e- even EA tried to like play it off as like, no, nah, we're not really interested in doing remasters. We're above that trend. Motherfucker. They- they're just waiting. They obviously, and they, um, I believe they confirmed that they're working on another um, new new line Mass Effect under the- Very um, early in development. Yes. They, un- they un- gave one piece of concept art. Mm-hmm. And uh, apparently this time it's also uh, Bioware proper, not a um, not a branch of it. Commun- uh, Mass Effect veterans, I believe the blog post said it's uh, it said like a small group of Mass Effect veterans are working on the next entry, but it's a very early, so they're uh, not like ready to speak about it. Sarah, do you want to go over some of those details there, such as the single player DLC, the lack of a full on remake, uh, while I go and fix our boy Mesa's uh, at hmm. so he's no longer Blaine. <laughs> yes. So um, for those who don't know, it's going to the one cool thing about this legendary edition is it's going to contain all single player DLC. So that includes all of the characters that were weirdly only available if you bought the game on day one, like like a uh, Zaid and stuff and stuff like that. It's also coming with stuff like the Citadel DLC. And it's also coming with pre-order bonuses, too, which I think people are skipping over. Bioware basically said that it's including every piece of DLC that they've released for all three games, which is a lot of stuff. Uh, so, the, so like uh, Jose mentioned earlier, it's not remakes either. They're basically up every single game. And then Mass Effect 1 is basically getting, not remade, but it's getting... Revamped revamped yeah to make it basically play better in this generation because it's kind of the consensus between mass effect fans now and i can attest this as mass effect one kind of plays like garbo now it's not good mesa you are fixed yay yay. so not in the veterinary sense so a lot of their um a lot of their like hitting towards this remaster collection is going towards like uh improving mass effect one and making it better to play basically which i mean for mass effect i've never been a person to say you need to play mass effect one to play the others but for those who haven't even played them i think it's great that mass effect one is going to be like a lot better to play especially since it's not too great now um the big (laughs) thing that they've said though is that they're not ready to talk about ps4 or xbox one x um like uh upgrades yet if i remember the blog post said that they were going to talk about it later or or like earlier next year which to me is really weird because the game's coming out spring of 2021 i I mean if they were by that point it would have Mm -hmm. the implements already in it so for those oh excuse me for those playing on the new consoles you're already going to be able to play it at like maybe 60 fps or 4k or Mm -hmm. stuff like that so the fact it's coming really late really funky I th- to me. Yeah, I, oh. If it's coming out this late, you would imagine like they, they would just push it to freaking uh, next gen. Like like obviously, yeah, you can still release a version for for what's considered current, but why not take advantage of the time you're actually re- releasing it? Well, I mean, the one thing I can think of is that they want it to be as accessible as possible. So making it look the best they can on PS4 and Xbox One, while also making it look really good on uh, PS5 and Xbox. Series S slash X is going to be maybe not their top priority. I mean, because the Series X, S, and the PS5 already adds upgrades to last-gen games in general. So the only thing I can think of is that they're wanting to make sure that it works on last-gen consoles first. Like, mm-hmm. kind of why Cyberpunk got delayed. Because they because they even said, oh, we're delaying it because we have to make it work on, like, seven different consoles. Not, I mean, that's obviously, like, a exaggeration. But it, it, they're, they're trying to make it work on a lot. So I can imagine that with the with the Mass Effect remastered team, that's their main goals. They want it to work on every console first before yeah, they start think, going, okay, let's look into making this run at 60, 1080p, 4K, that kind of thing. And I think they're right to do so just because the install base for just the PS4 alone is fucking insane. And with how, and how um, supplier-strained um, next-gen consoles are, um, you know, obviously the pre-orders are already all gone and people are going to be rushing to get those consoles on launch day uh you, yeah you might as well aim for the biggest fucking base and the upgrades will come eventually so it's at no real loss and uh, I, just, just, i'm sorry good i also think we're failing to mention that there's no switch port this is true uh, yeah it, it would be it would be good on the switch i'm not i'm uh, not gonna deny 
you know what? You can play Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U, my dude. <laughs> yeah. Don't even remind me about that. I'm still so furious about that. It's not even funny, all right? Why, why are you I, furious? For, hey, we're going to put Mass Effect 3 on Wii U the same day we're going to put the Mass Effect trilogy on all other consoles for $20 less? I don't know why I would be bitter about that. <laughs> I, I, I would have played missed the you. trilogy. I would have played the trilogy if that if it came out on Wii U. It has been too long since we've had you on, Mesa. I, <laughs> I, I, I missed you, buddy. I would give you a hug right now <laughs> if I could. Your friend. God, I want to hug you, man. But uh, just going back to two of the earlier points, while I was fixing uh, the spirit of Blaine, um, <laughs> I, I I never really touched any of the DLC for any of the Mass Effect games. I think the Ooh. most I did was um, the PS3 version of Mass Effect 2 had some of the DLC included in it, but like the Citadel DLC for uh, for 3 was like pretty highly regarded. It was kind of like a... Because yeah. it was not, not, it, 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 like fan the service, last right? hurrah. Oh, yeah. almost, it, it was kind of fan service because it allowed you to romance characters that you couldn't romance in the base game. Mm -hmm. But it was also kind of like the last hurrah to that series which bioware weirdly put out like six months after it came out expecting people to still be playing it by then which i mean there was still people playing it but at the time i had beaten it i gotten pissed about the ending i never touch uh touch it again only to find out that the citadel dlc basically allowed me to romance the character i wanted to romance and was a lot better so i, I mean, never really forgave by Bi bioware for being like oh here's it is six months later but i mean i'll definitely play it now because I mean, I'm, can, a, I'm a Mass Effect person. We so. can go on about the ending of Mass Effect 3 for a while. And you know what? I, there's a very special guest I want to bring on who I've been trying to get on for a while, but, you know, just scheduling conflicts. Uh, I'll just say I was disappointed, not necessarily angry. But going back to the uh, DLC part, um, I, I've had all the versions on the PC for like the longest freaking time now. And I've considered buying the DLC like so many times over the years, but I just don't want to pay, you know, 10, 15 bucks for... And I'm not trying to put it down like, oh, no, it's only like two, three hours because uh, the length of something isn't necessarily indicative of its quality. But mm -hmm. I always assumed that there would be a remaster. We'd all get bundled in. So I'm like, OK, I'll, I'll be getting a new improved version and I'll be getting the DLC thrown in also. So I, I feel very uh, vindicated that I just waited for all this. Yeah. You just got to wait until spring 2021. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm happy to finally play the series. Never never touched any. Oh, you've any, never played it? Never Wait, touched what? any. Never no Oh Mass Effect's so good. <laughs> so I've heard actually I don't I actually lied. I just lied. Uh -oh. I've played oh. forty minutes of one. Oh but that's not really playing one. Yeah. <laughs> you you, you did yourself a disservice. <laughs> I just you know, I just I've always had something else on the on the, the backlog mm -hmm. to play. Yeah, um, I will like, say that Mass Effect's a very large series that mm -hmm. you need to put legitimate time and effort yeah. into, so I can understand like mm -hmm. not having the time or like you know what? and stuff. Actually, <laughs> if it was on actually if it was on a console, I probably would have I had a console to play it on, I probably would have played it by now. It's weird uh, playing it, it on if, PC for some reason. It, it does not feel right. It's, yeah. it's um it, it's I don't, even, I don't necessarily want to call them ports, but it, it just feels like a game you want to play with controller and there's not native controller support for those on the current PC versions. There's mods or whatever, but they're not, you know, 100% accurate. There's some, mm -hmm. there's, there's some jank associated with it. But uh, yeah, you should absolutely jump into it. And I'm excited to see what they do with Mass Effect 1. I kind of wish Mass Effect 1 was like a full-on remake or just kind of built off the foundations of 2 or 3, but... We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, so I remember when this was getting hinted at, when it was like the worst kept secret in, in gaming, when I was speaking to an industry friend and I was like, LOL, why don't they just like put this out now? It's the worst kept secret. They could release it soon. And his legit answer was, it's because of Mass Effect 1. And I remember I was like, what about Mass Effect 1? He's like, oh, they're literally like reworking the entire combat experience to make it better to play. And I was like, oh, and that's what's taking them so long? And he was like, yes. Well, he was I'm like, that's exactly what's taking them so long. I'm glad they're putting in that effort because if it was just Absolutely. like uh, up res or like newer textures, I still probably would not play Mass Effect 1. Yeah, I and and like I spoke about earlier in Mesa, just since you never played this, or you played like 40 minutes of it. Um, <laughs> of the, the worst thing, Mass Effect game. The one thing I always tell people when it comes to something like Dragon Age or Mass Effect is you honestly don't need to play the first ones. I mean, I hope that changes. 
But it's like, in my honest opinion, you don't need to play the first ones because Dragon Age 1 is fine. Mass Effect 1 is kind of gar- garbo. Yeah. And the good news is about Mass Effect 2 is it basically you could go in and be completely fine. Same with Dragon Age 2. It's, it's still the best. And for what it's worth, 2 actually has a uh, comic at the beginning. If you if you have not played 1, it'll yeah, kind of catch like up to speed what happens. and it'll let you like make some of the bigger decisions so you can still see those ramifications. Yeah, into... like you actually make the bigger decisions in like a dialogue option. Mm-hmm. Like like a character kind of grows you and is like, oh, well, someone, something, some, something happened to someone at the end of this mission who was that person do you remember and then you can choose mm-hmm. and your character's like oh this or this and they're like okay then the character's there it's definitely one of those things where it it and what's the word it puts in the fact you never played the f- first game in kind of smartly but it's like i'm glad that people will be able to play mass effect one and at least experience mass effect one and then play through the whole trilogy Mesa, before we move on, uh, would you be annoyed if I sent you a Wii U copy of Mass Effect 3? I mean, seeing as I don't have a Wii U, I mean, <laughs> hey, I, I, got, I got that cool rocket launcher or whatever the, it was. Rocket That was launcher. exclusive to the version. Yeah, the, yeah the, 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 some dumb rocket launchers. I didn't know that. Version. Yeah, it's like it's like a, like a, it shoots like six rockets at once or something like that. Uh, yeah, oh, you a, probably... That was probably for the like combat class. Yeah, that wasn't yeah, like the biotics or anything. That was definitely worth uh, uh, twenty extra dollars in two less games. 